the tomfoolery and man can't do precious moments theater this is the best of the best of the audio and visual moments taken from the tomfoolery and man can't do show now here we've assembled some of our favorite moments over the past three years and this is going to be a railroad journey through our lifetime and I think that we should stop at the first depot, so... So buckle your safety belts. And let's get ready for the ride of three years of the Tomfoolery and Man Cat Do Show. All right, now this was a moment from our first show, and uh, this was the Claire Donahue show. This was Justin and I. And the, I think this was the first show we ever... I have to say that I think we look awfully young. Well, yeah, <laughs> Kevin we has a very young. high, whiny voice. Uh, it's not my fault. <laughs> Don't blame me. I think it is your fault, but anyway... It's my mom's fault. To get, a little, bad genes. To get a little sample of uh, what this the first show looked like and what we looked like three years ago, let's run this Claire this Donahue show. Our early beginnings, and let's watch, let's, let's watch, watch this. this. Yeah, but I, is he your friend? Well, I don't know him too much. Do you do things together? No. My chair broke. Wow. Do you have any ground cover? Oh, oh grass. I got some lava rock down in the basement. Lava <laughs> rock. And this is a moment from our second show. This is Justin here. This is the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. This is putting a pantyhose on my head with a balloon inside of it. So let's go watch this. This is the second is the Claire second Donahue show. show. Let's watch this. And um, this is the Claire Donahue guy yes, for the future. The, uh, over there, Dan Wayman. And this the is a yeah. pantyhose and with a balloon in it. it. So if you would like to recreate this at home for yourself, nice uh, right it's not too hard to do, and it's, it's not too expensive. Thing. Now, back in so the old shows, we today, had fascination with clean we have the camera effects. <clears throat> right. All right, now coming up is what I call the worst moment on the Tom Furley and Man Cat Do Show. I concur. It is definitely the worst thing we've ever done. This is a game show that we did called Wheel of Cash. Now, while one person spun the wheel, the other person got to play with a cat that no one could ever see on screen. And this was Brad, Mark, and Dan. This is from the second show. Let's watch All right, let's watch this, yeah. Yes, okay. Hey, go for it. All right, now this is Pollyanna getting ready to spin the wheel. Okay, here goes Dan. Goes no, look at cow. that nice shot of the wheel there. Okay. Oh, spin oh, again. The, the ball again. fell out there. Okay. You see, now this is some. Go like, spin the cat. Oh, yeah, really. And Billy Bob, Dan gets go to go spin, spin the cat. The cat. Well, there he goes. In. Of course, you never see the cat. And, uh, <laughs> yes, this is extremely bad. Yeah, yeah, I think this is get? exceptionally bad. And of course, I was running every, oh, all the fancy ins and outs with the cameras. Yeah, yeah. okay, here. Yeah. Whatever you landed on, you got that times 10. So you get $20,000. Okay. Um, here's well, your 20000 Woo! 20000 All right. Now that's a separate issue. Hi. This is a moment from our third show. Yeah, number this, three. This was the beginning of our, our little precious moments fetish right yeah, here. There we've got little precious moments audio commercial. All right. And so let's, this is me. Right, let's watch this. Show. Well, now you can own them if you don't remember them on these two wonderful tapes, part one and two of the Tom Frey Man Cat Do Show. Do you remember the ooh, ooh, ooh? <laughs> Do you remember the ah, ooh? And do you remember the time when we went to a movie? I went to a movie. And of course, was running 
camera. Well, even if you don't, you can it. now with these two tapes. <laughs> of course, in the early days, the If you order part one um, today, if you call now for sick. part one, we will give you... Oftentimes, we'd hear about people film. going into conniption fits from watching the show. <laughs> I always wanted, I always wanted to start, a, like, a face. diabetic fit. Or we don't know if any of those are true. Tomorrow, I always we will give you this limited edition Vincent happen. Van Gogh ear. If you call for part two tomorrow, we give you this deflated cow bladder. <laughs> If you call of course, for rubber tomorrow, glove liberated from That was back when you were volunteering the hospital. And you took it. Yes. <laughs> it was liberated terminally, as you, we you like to say. If you order them today, today we give you the all hospital four. never asked However, for However, if you do not order at all, we no, will now there's you. when the tape went bad. That's not our fault. Our we didn't do that. Because our special that's, agents that's in the film will be breaking your legs. <laughs> yeah, it was. We had nothing to do. Anyway, say hi, Brad. And of course, the bad pun by myself. We had the whoopee cushion fetish, that too. That's part of the talk for you. Don't catch your precious have moments. Just, yeah, just, just order them. All right, now, here I come. The beginning of an so era. 1995 to Tom you. Ford and Man Cat Do, Kill and Fred the Backstage. That's Brad Shadow. All right, that's oh, the end of that. What was that? That's where I did the cross eye thing. Uh, Shifty eyes. Now here comes my what second favorite commercial. Second favorite that this we've is ever done. One of the classic moments. This was the Complete. subliminal message tape uh, featuring Brad screaming in a padded room. Yeah, so we got in trouble for going in the padded room. We weren't supposed to go in there. We weren't supposed to have the mannequin. Let's watch this. And uh, who ate the tuna fish sandwich? Anyone? Anyone? That's a rhetorical question. Who ate the tuna fish sandwich? I love it. <laughs> we got in a lot of trouble for that. Who ate the tuna fish sandwich? Who ate the tuna fish sandwich? There's Kevin jumping, jumping up and down crazy. <laughs> okay, stop. Okay, stop. That's too bad. And oh, the first that, time I That was classic. <laughs> no, we're not yes, we, yes, we are. We're not putting this in. That is so funny. I could die watching that. I'd die from watching it, too. <laughs> That's so funny. Well, if you want to. I want to. This is, this is. Oh, here comes the doggy deodorant. Oh, the, I love... All right, put in the underwear thing, I suppose. Go back. Oh, I love it. Does your doggy smell? <laughs> Not no, with his no. nose. Does he? I mean, have... does he have really smelly like leg pits? <laughs> Well, new crazy haze is doggy deodorant. <laughs> Just apply in his, her armpits and make your doggy publicly appropriate. And applicable and those neat things. Uh, somebody just asked, does it come in cherry? Uh, not really. No, 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 those are the cheesy keyboard that we can play anything we wanted on it. And plum tree. Does that come in cherry? And rose bush. And other fine selections. Are we taping? Thank you. And if you want to order now, let's rewind that. Let's do this one. Five, five, five. Right. F R E D. Many people named Fred are waiting to take your call. <laughs> kind of ironic that our favorite thing is Brad. <laughs> you <gotta> stop. <laughs> oh, this is. I've lost track now. I don't know. I think this is show one. seven. And this was the episode where. Um, we killed off Rat Man. And of course, we never, you never, you're not going to get the chance to see the episode where Rat Man was first introduced, but we and, hated doing Rat Man so much. And uh, count, your salt, count your lucky stars that you don't get to see that episode. So yes, we're killing Rat Man. Yeah. Well, actually, this just a little bit before little we bit kill before. Rat Man. This was where we pulled off Brad's arm. It's one of my personal favorites. And I guess this this will be the time when we did fish out of water. The beginning of the, another the, era. Yes, the first fish out of water. All right, now we'll do. First of all, well, we the here kill rat, rat, rat man. There's rat man. Poker. And uh, here comes. This was here comes the poker and the no, was the fiddler. I think. Well, it was both. And uh, Justin was just being. I was being. I was sadistic. Just, I, 
tear it apart the Buddha. Oh, here I go. Oh, ouch. Now, I, I often ask Kevin that had to hurt, and he still says no. Oh. I think he just enjoyed it. He's about to deal with it. Here comes the Piddler. Very just, just, just beating, beating up Kevin. And we got a, some Mr. anger Mr. out there. Bear there. Yeah. Mr. Bear Bear. With the yeah, whoopee so cushion. Off and, uh, man, once again, you cut your lucky right, now this next, did kill off, right? this next moment that's coming up was the, oh, it'll be the last the round. The Tic-Tac-Toe Championship. Right? This next moment was the last round of the uh, Tic-Tac-Toe tic right, International man. Championship. This featured uh, me, uh, Justin the Masher, and Kevin the Killer yeah. at Tic-Tac-Toe. And, uh, and we, this, um, there in the background, there's the mannequin that, that was taken away. Yeah, we once we used that mannequin so much that they took it away from us. Like, we, uh, all right, here's our artistic. Here comes tic tac toe, and uh, we flip for side okay. there. I said pin side down. Oh, pin uh, side Justin down. And low and the masher, hole. one again. Now I believe if the masher plays down. the middle square, okay, he might be able to get started. The X. Does the upper uh, no, upper right X? The upper right uh, you know. Now I think Mr. Bear does pretty good commentary. Let's yes. listen. Is, let's listen is, to Mr. Bear. Copying all moves. One more, and it could be over. One more perfect placement. One more, and there's no way. There's no way. Oh, for a minute there, I thought. I thought the killer was going to use like the, no the wrong of losing this symbol one. and automatically lose. I thought the killer was going to use yet another X. If he uses another X by mistake, he loses. Oh, I'm glad he didn't do that. Oh, the and the cat, cat won. Cat. The cat won. So here comes cats. the cat. In a row, cats win Where's today. The cat? Cat. Here here comes the cat. You always wonder why the they say cat won. The cat didn't even have to do anything. Well, there's the cat. And the cat has won. All right, now well, that concludes yet closing another comment. of our interesting and fantastic, fun, stupefying world tic-tac-toe matches. Once I just can't, I can't believe I saw Ponderata. that with yeah. all four eyes. Ponderota? Never did have Ponderata. any other one. Yes, ravishing, no, ravishing. They, they didn't provide ravishing. <laughs> All right, now here is where we did, uh, Brad did the Dan the Weatherman. One of the many Dan the Weatherman. For Weather Oklahoma. Skits. Yeah, let's watch this. And, uh, oh, it cracked it right here. Yeah, aftershock. Not much to look and at, but so the, now, the uh, parody is really so says, I think, again, I was running the these effects. I think I was controlling that little green dot. Is now in Texas. Okay, everybody got that? What happened in the it's panhandle? The panhandle split in half. Oh. To a 45 degree. I love degree. those glasses. So this is called too. the OK Stream. That's the OK Stream. And let's get on with now we'll do Now and then we say get on with it. Now oh. here's where I do. A magic trick. So this is a magic this trick. Is this is where be, I make the sunglasses, the sunglasses disappear. Up onto my face now, you'll watch hands. this. See if right you can here. guess where the sunglasses go. All right, they're gone. Well, not even. All right, now well, watch this. Where the glasses go, though? That's I, I, I do. I say, here it comes. Where'd they go? I'll we'll make the glasses. Can anybody find my sunglasses? Yeah. I'm asking, where oh, are the glasses? Yeah. Like, I don't know. I'll, I'll make them reappear. Wait, like, to end the show, do. I didn't make them reappear. Well, that, that was one of the good And parts. there we go. I made the sunglasses okay. reappear. Oh. Now, Sun next oh. is the first Key Goodbye. Lime beer commercial. All this right. is Kevin. No, boy, I was young. Hi. Wouldn't it be Some great if I really went to Hawaii instead of just getting no, a shirt from someone really else? Yeah, we never wouldn't really it be did great if just instead of going to Hawaii, I went started, to get some beer, really key great beer, beer, key lime beer, bottle beer taste. Again, I think no, you can tell I was beer running taste in a can. 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 Switch Really yes. great beer, key lime beer. Can beer taste in a can. Wouldn't that key be great? Key lime beer. Out in the background. Okay, and then here is the weather, weather with, with key lime beer. This was the whole episode. This was, yes, this whole weather. episode. Yeah, I, I think, think this was episode here. number nine. Eight or nine. Pork nothing pork but key chop. lime beer for the whole episode. What is that? And there's Texas. Texas pork chop. Or is it like pork chop? Oh well. We did that on Texas. Texas. Well, what's going to be happening well, in pork chop? We'd like to think pork. we did. Uh, All right, now here comes one of my favorites. This is one of my favorites. Key lime beer. Happy painter. We get a shot of our. Let's watch this. Hi, welcome to the Happy Painter. And a mm. beatnik look. Key lime beer. Great canned beer taste in a can. Well, we'll be working with. You notice back then I had a, a white today. shirt. That's, that's, that's a rare and, uh, sight. One, a shirt that's not red or green. That's pretty rare. White. 
we'll be painting our little happy Of course, you know, if you've got a VCR so let's handy, see you might your take this now because it's your just to have proof that I own. Chance, uh, chances are you'll never see Justin in a white shirt ever again. Happy I've got one white shirt. That's, uh, that's it right there. Just wherever your happy clouds seem to be. Little this is the first the painting of the clouds. Yeah. Uh, just chalk. to really appreciate yeah. this, you need to have watched the joy of painting. Yes, the joy of painting. Happy cloud is Sun's channel. Little 13. happy cloud. Oh, it's more happy thing. Cloud. Thirty-two. Mm. Kind of. Uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, if, if if you don't get the joke here, well, yeah, just, yeah, you yeah, just yeah. switch the channel okay. and come back later. That's now we'll be working <laughs> with our mouse. Don't go. Don't be gone too long. Ignatius Goldenrod. Paint our little mountains. Just kind of. Blend those, yeah, those are some fine mountains. Blend your Ignatius you. yellow and mix it in with with diarasmal rye brown. Yeah, as you can see, I'm going. I'm not going into those, a career yeah, of course. Of just kind that of was mix me it and blend. You know, I, I was know, doing that. You were doing switchboard. switchboard. That's and Brad was running camera. camera. This is one Brad of always yelled at me to put on his camera. And then we'll just see where that. There's always snow on back then. I was a quality thief. Oh, weren't so you? We'll just draw a little snow. Hey, it looks like wave, man. You have no insight. You're criticizing my wave back there. And then just kind of blend that. My mountains. I forget. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they're Well, the right. key is, is blending. Yeah. This now, is this... the one of the Key Lime episodes with uh, Mr. Bach and Mr. Bear on, and this is our it's, moment. I think it's an all time one of my favorites. With the key, key lime, lime monkey, monkey, and he dances around. Knocking the key knocking lime beer cans, cans off. Let's watch. This is great. And the, and the music. Let's give him well, some music. May you some speak up a little bit? Yeah, little well, I'm keyboard. giving him some music to dance to. Leave me alone. So, people are always criticizing me. I, was, I just, every time after the show, I'd have to go and cry because everybody's yelling at me. Well, <laughs> I just came. I just cried the next day. In <laughs> now watch there, the tail goes right between his legs. Oh, that's a good move. Yep. Now watch this move with the tail. It shoots this can Three right off the one on your left. Watch this. Zoop, zoop. I think that's great. Now, yeah. now of course, Kevin probably running camera or switcher. You don't get to see the key lime monkey actually knock the last two cans off, which is kind no, of I was anticlimactic. I was in the studio. I was not really. It was my switcher. goatee. I, I grew. I see, was. I was the youngest person in school to grow a beard. I think. <laughs> that is, of course, the episode when you learn to use the mic. Superimposer. The superimposer and the microphone. The microphone from, the, from this. Yeah. From the backstage to the studio. Nice fade to black. You can't really see much of anything. Oh, wait, we back missed that Justin classic moment here. in history. <laughs> hey, now you make a fun of it. Right, now, here's, here's where we do an interview oh, George with the Fred. key line. There we go. Monkey. Hi, hi, fans. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, one of the deals was that the voice to be on the, the show, we, me drink. we said the that Al we would hand feed him and give him a six pack of key lime beer. <sighs> But we're nice, so we're gonna give him an eight pack. Of course, pack. remember we and were not And some popcorn. Flair, Flair, you're was, so skinny. Let me give you a non-alcoholic beer. Oh, 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 I uh, know it's the uh, janitor has come in and taking an over our, uh, our superimposer machine. Oh, oh okay. no, we got. We called it the superimposer. They called it the like, character generator. Monkey. I call it. Monkey. Monkey. Let's call the whole thing off. Okay. It was no. one of the commercials. Mr. Bach and Mr. Bear. And, um, well, that's Let's all we need. It's, it's, it's another commercial for Key Lime Beer. I do. It's the Key Lime Monkey. It's the Key Lime Monkey. Our Brewed right here in the near South Bottoms. That's right. We use our own fresh key limes down here. Here's your brain on key lime beer. That's right. Your brain not on key lime beer. Canned beer taste in a can. Now, isn't that like amazing? And it will bowl you over for sure. Remember, key lime beer. Ah.
Can you comment beer with Mr. Canned beer taste in a can. Oh. And that special line <clears throat> that makes it especially special. Monkey, monkey. Ah. Attention, key lime shoppers. There is a red light special. Aisle seven. Whoops. <laughs> Aisle seven, where the red light's flashing. Dollar forty-nine. Hi, mom. Right next to those Cheetos. That key lime is good beer. Good beer. Good beer. Canned beer taste in a can reminds me of grandma and apple pie sort of rolled up into a can. Oh, where you can't find grandma well, and apple pie. Grandma and apple pie. Key lime beer. Rolled that's up right. Because that taste. This was something in a can. And that thing that Mr. Bach is showing on the right. 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 Whatever that thing is. Oh. I recently oh. ran over it in my car. I threw it out in the street. We gotta go. I hate to. We gotta get some key lime beer. Buy a key lime. Come on, key lime monkey. Let's go. Gotta get some key lime beer. Got to have the stuff. Oh, this is a loose sure. Let's see what the nice thing is. Stinky. This is a moment from... It's a wonderful imitation of Sally Struthers by Kevin. And, uh, of course, I can't get my voice that high anymore. But, but I, I it's, love this. It's good, it's good satire. Uh, let's watch this. So. And if you have ever thought about joining the NRA, then now is the time to do it. For two months, the NRA will be offering a 24% discount on membership fees, as well as these special benefits. Free gun cleaning from ICS graduates. 72 cents a day that should go can. to people They're starting in Africa, like poor little Joao Haman. And a 10% off coverage of gun hall and film and stream magazines. Those are excellent benefits, and this and the NRA needs you. So send in those donations that's not and receive all. these no. extra bonus extra gifts benefit. free of charge. This and, uh, hypodermic so, so get found off the shores Something of New hits York. There. I think a balloon hits you in the nose and, and you get really mad. the orange hunting jacket. All so these can be yours, plus the special benefits mentioned earlier. So just send in those, send in those donations. There, right there, you get mad. <laughs> and, call, and call today. Hi, I'm Mickey Frog. Frog. Yeah. Frog. Yeah. Frog. Yeah. Yeah. I'm coming you think to that's you a good Sally Struthers, and this and is a pretty bad criminal. I would like to you to order. That number is 1-800-555-FRED, where many people named Fred will be waiting to take your call. Yes, I did the Sally Once again, Struthers that number is 1-800-555-FRED, oh, yeah. yeah. where many people named Fred it. are waiting to I did, uh, take your call. call. We're waiting <laughs> for, mine, for you. Heavens, to me. Uh, of course, this next is uh, one of my favorites. We did some high-tech studio work here. Looks like there's, we did a split film, but no, it's all in one shot. It's just a white piece of cardboard in the back. It is a great commercial. Parody of the stove top, oh, top commercial. Pretty good sound effects. Thank you very much. Hello, oh, Susie home. Hello. Hello, Susie. Yeah, she's, she's not here right now. Can you tell Some her to call wonderful back? Wonderful action. Sure. Part. Okay, bye. Bye. I wonder if Roy would like to eat stove top. So I, I said call back, but I didn't well, say I don't know Roy. who I was. You don't know Roy. Or I never even left Don would like there. stove top. Um, me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it was that funny at the time. Susie? <laughs> it, it wasn't. Don? But... Hello? Hello, Don. Yeah. You want to come over for for chicken liver? Sure. With with potatoes. Would come over chicken. No, liver. with stove top. <sighs> no stove yeah, top. Stove. Some people just don't like stove top stuffing. Will the world ever learn? Yeah, the fun. I wonder if Betty would like stove tops. Coming up here is the first episode we ever did using the remote camera. And we had been qualified to use it, just never used it. We had it. never used it. And then we also had editing on this. So this is editing, too. This is, Let's watch this. This is a milestone in our career. And see, that was that neat? We edited it. Now, here's Smog Man. Why do they call, why do they call you Smog Man? I don't know. Sure. We can hear Kevin even some voiceovers. Oh, yeah. Voiceovers oh, of Mark. us talking, and now we're doing voiceovers of those voiceovers of us talking. So we've got three layers of conversation going on right now on TV. Smog Man. 
The whole point of this was who won, who won, who won the game that we played while well that's out, which is Kevin just a bit better than Wheel of Cash. Does this have any of that much? Smog man. Well, it couldn't be much worse. Smog man. The tape has a kind of rainy look to it. On grounds? Yeah, almost looks black and white. Of course, back then we didn't. He drank we them. Really didn't know how to do it because they well, were just false instructions. Yes, those workshops. So don't, don't listen to them. Are you sure, Smog Man? Doesn't look like you're done yet. Someone needs to mow the lawn. It was. Ooh, yeah. No, uh, that shit got really not, quite no. dirty with no. Justin Jones snowballs. Oh, my God. Oh, you gave away the just, secret. No, it wasn't just a fire starter. I was really confused. Hurry up, Smog Man. Make, smoke. Smog Man, make your final decision. There it is. You must, oh, have, must have swallowed really something. Really great pork, though. Was Andrew pork. Frederick? A farmer pork? Andrew Frederick. And I think this, this next part is, and it is your first imitation of Ron Curtin. This is the first Ron imitation. Now, it doesn't look like You've much, but um, we, didn't, we didn't dress up, or he, Kevin didn't dress up. Of course, we never dressed up. Oh, wait, here. Before the Ron Curtin block, this is the and consolation. And winner of our wild I really our Andy contest. had won, so he gets a gets fat lip. Gets a lip. free fat lip. Oh, oh wonderful. God. And then... And then I was second. And how about an honorable? But how about mention? an honorable? How about an how about an honorable mention? <laughs> that's some, that's great. That is wonderful. Now you thought forwards was bad enough. Now this is this is slow forward. This is a slow forward. Let's recite it along. <laughs> The way my hair moves there, it's just kind of slow. Oh, now let's come I think back. Think we do it reverse, yes. Let's come back and reverse. That's some classic TV. No, that was okay. Oh, no. This is the Ron Curtin bomb. This is a. All right. It's going to be dressed up much. But Kevin, of course, was hungry in my house, show, so I had to eat it. Mark. <laughs> just just eating. eating. The mannerism and the. Uh, and the I think the just show, the I overall dialect that you use every day here. Think of it. Pretty much. <laughs> it's, it's indicative. Except for Friday. Of Ron. I have the. It's inherent <laughs> over Ron. <laughs> Uh, stop it. Hey, see, we edited it pretty good. We've... I, again, am Ron Kurtenbach, and I have recently just moved out of my closet. Um, now, keep in mind, even though this, as I was saying before, this looks cannot... new. <laughs> this was a year ago. This was a whole year ago. This was tape. I do have a summer every of day of the week. 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, summer 1990. Summer 1990. That's two years ago. I see if I can get a load of effective control. Of all cable vision. Um, so this, yeah, <laughs> well, let's get to our calls. That's a long time ago. It was a long time ago. That was his first call. I'm current. I'm current. I don't know, was it? <laughs> Maybe he was out of calls, but no. Something's wrong. Uh, yes, I'm wondering what the wonderful? heck your show's about. Keep in mind as you're watching TV, there are a few well, episodes that you don't have on TV. Yeah, ignorant. Yeah, if you have uh, ignorant ignorant view. lost episodes. Here. There's a couple I'm lost episodes that we have. In question, so, would have um, been no, well, I guess we don't have. More often, so there's one with Mr. Ryan Miller on. on the show. Mr. About. Ryan Miller's watching this. So if you have those episodes. And the Christmas special, we also have lost. If anyone has the Christmas special or the Mr. Ryan Miller episodes, uh, we don't have them. And uh, we'd be more than happy. Someday those are worth going to be worth. Those are going to be worth some hard cash. Don't you think? Talking about fascism. Well, that concludes the first installment of many railroad stations in our three year history. And I, I hope you had fun watching. And, well, if you didn't have fun, I hope you didn't get like some kind of conniption fit or or gastric disorder or something, but some kind of gastrointestinitis type of thing. Thank I've you. been reading the dictionary. You can tell. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Um, tune in again. Uh, I don't know. Some